Dual chip graphics cards were once the apex of technology. Now they rest in the annals of gaming history. Once upon a time, dual chip graphics cards were the talk of the town, the shining stars in the world of gaming technology. They emerged as a beacon of hope for gamers everywhere, promising an unrivaled high performance gaming experience. These dynamic duos were perceived as the ultimate powerhouses, capable of delivering double the performance of their single chip counterparts. The allure was irresistible. The idea of having two graphics processing units working hand in hand, sharing the load and maximizing output was a tantalizing prospect. Gamers and tech enthusiasts alike were captivated by the promise of smoother gameplay, faster frame rates, and enhanced visual effects. It was a golden age, a time when dual chip graphics cards were seen as the future of gaming. But as with all things in the tech world, change was on the horizon. And though dual chip graphics cards had their moment in the spotlight, their reign was not to last. As it turns out, the rise was as swift as the fall. The decline of dual chip graphics cards wasn't a sudden event, but a gradual process influenced by a myriad of factors. The rise of deferred rendering was a significant turning point. This technology improved efficiency and reduced the need for dual GPUs, slowly making them less relevant. Then came the technical issues. Communication gaps between chips, inefficient use of VRAM, and micro stuttering plagued dual GPU setups, further pushing them towards obsolescence. When DirectX 12 was released, it was supposed to breathe new life into the multi-GPU world. But despite the improved support, both gamers and developers were slow to adopt it. The promise of better performance was overshadowed by the challenges of implementation and the continuing issues with dual GPUs. Meanwhile, single-chip GPUs were rapidly improving in performance, not just matching but often exceeding their dual-chip counterparts. Periodic upgrades of single-chip GPUs became a more practical and cost-effective choice for many, further diminishing the appeal of dual-chip options. But the final nail in the coffin was the high cost and power consumption of dual GPUs. Their value for money was simply not competitive, especially considering the performance issues and the rapid advancements in single-chip technology. While dual-chip graphics cards still find a niche in professional settings, their reign in the gaming industry has ended. As we delve into the fascinating evolution of dual-chip graphics cards, we find that their downfall was inevitable. Once a technological marvel, these cards fell victim to their own inefficiencies. Communication gaps between chips, inefficient use of VRAM, and micro-stuttering. The rise of deferred rendering and the relentless improvement of single-chip GPUs further sealed their fate. High costs, power consumption, and poor value for money were the final nails in the coffin. As the gaming industry marches on, it's clear that the era of dual-chip graphics cards is firmly in the rearview mirror. The gaming industry is always advancing, and while dual-chip graphics cards had their moment in the sun, the future holds new technological marvels for us to explore.